So let's look at an example of how to solve right, multiple discrete charges. So here we have a negative charge and a positive charge, and along the line we want to find the electric field at a point P over here. We have a distance between these two, a distance A, and then the distance between the center point of them and P is a distance L. So this is looking really good. Our next step once we have this is to then draw vectors. So we want a vector from the positive to P, and we can call this plus for the positive vector, a vector from minus to P, and we can call this our vector minus. So that's good for our sketch step. For our organized step, we want to write for each of these, find the electric field. And just as a reminder, we have kp over r squared r hat right here. So for each of these charges, we need to find q, r squared, r hat. We can do q pretty easily right here, right? q minus is minus q, q plus is positive q. And then looking at the r vectors and r squareds, it's easy enough to find r vector first and then find r hat and r squared from that, right? We can get all the information from there and it's going to help us in future meetings. So let's look at this r vector minus. So r vector minus, we have to go to total distance L plus a little extra, right? Half of A. So we would write L plus A over 2. That's our direction we have to go in x direction, might as well define this as the x direction, and so that's going to be L plus A over 2 I hat, and then our R vector plus, we are going to have to go the distance L minus a little bit, so that's going to be L minus A over 2 I hat. So from this, hopefully we feel pretty good about our squared minus is going to be L plus A over squared, r squared plus is going to be L minus A over 2 quantity squared. So nothing too crazy here. r hat is where all of the uh, probably worry is, but there shouldn't be. r hat's really easy. So we just take our vector minus and we multiply, divide by the magnitude of r minus. So because we found it, we can just write it, right? If we didn't find it, then we'd have to find it in some way or somehow. L plus A over 2 over I hat divided by L plus A over 2. And we, of course, get some pretty nice easy cancellations here. We just get equals to I hat. R vector plus is going to be more of the same. So R vector plus is going to be R vector plus over R vector magnitude. And so we're going to get L minus A over 2 over L minus A over 2, and we have an I hat here. And we once again are able to get some nice cancellation from this. So because of that, now I have R vector minus, R vector or R squared, and Q minus. So it's very easy for me to write the electric field from the negative charge as k minus q over l plus a over 2 quantity squared i hat. It's also easy for me to write e vector plus. See if you can do it. Pause for a second and then do it. All right, welcome back. So we have k times plus q over l minus a over 2 squared i hat. And then what's really nice is that our net electric field because we've written it in this way, we can just add them as vectors, right? So now I have k minus q over l plus a over 2 quantity squared i hat plus k plus q over l minus a over 2 quantity squared i hat. We've got a lot of very similar terms, so let's identify them. We have k for both. We have i hat for both. And we can even have the Q for both, giving us a really nice, easy way to do this. So now we have our net electric field is K, Q, I hat. And then what we have left is a negative here. I'm going to write it kind of over here. Negative 1 over L plus A over 
to quantity squared, and then a positive, just because we like positives in front, L minus A over 2 quantity squared. Now, we have a chance to do a little bit of simplification, so let's do it. One simplification thing we can do is we can do some cross-multiply to get a combined factor term of L minus A over 2 quantity squared, L plus A over 2 quantity squared. So both of them have the same denominator. If we do that, then this term comes up over here, L plus A over 2 quantity squared. We get this minus, and this term comes up here, L minus A over 2 quantity squared. And of course, we still have our kqi hat over here. So just a few steps left to go. We can notice that L minus A over 2 and L plus A over 2 are difference of squares. So we can write L squared minus A over 2 squared. And then, right, since we have two of those, we've got to square that it again. Maybe it's not so much nicer, but maybe it is. Okay, foiling up here is going to be the big part. We have L squared plus 2AL, 2L, A over 2, minus A squared over 4, minus, and we're going to just do all of this in the minus, L squared minus 2L, AL over 2, and then again, sorry, this is plus, plus A squared over 4. So we can see that we have a lot of very shared terms. In here we have this L squared and this L squared should cancel. This A squared over 4 and this A squared over 4 should cancel. If we want to be sufficiently rigorous, these 2's cancel. But this negative sign and this negative sign actually cancel. And so we have a plus and a plus, and not to forget our KQI. So if we do this then, then our net electric field is going to be KQ, and then we have AL I hat over this bit of monstrosity, L squared minus A squared over 4 quantity squared. So you might be saying, hey, this looks like a dipole. It could look like a dipole. It could be that A is on the same scale as L. We'll see in another lecture what happens if it is a dipole.